yoga. Let's begin standing today. Have a mat or a towel close by, perhaps a cushion to sit on, a yoga prop of any sort, a towel folded up. Well, let's begin again with feet right underneath the pelvis. Knees, bend them a few times, right over the toes, in line with the toes. Lovely. Lift your toes. Notice the weight shift back. Try to lighten the heels. Notice your weight shift forward. Rest your heels down. Palms forward, if you don't mind encourages the elbows to tuck in towards the rib cage. From here, spread the toes. Tone your tummy and relax the muscles of your butt, the glutes, and relax the muscles of your legs, all the muscles in your legs. I invite you now to close your eyes. Notice balance with the eyes closed. It might sway. Try to calm any swaying in the body. Encourage the inside edges of your feet to lightly lift. Encouraging the arches of your feet makes the outside edges of the feet a little heavier. If they're not already, open your eyes. Place your hands to your belly and inhale into your hands. A round full belly. Exhale and notice how the belly and your hands come in a little. Inhale, belly breathing. Exhaling from the belly, and softly comes in, only a little bit. Inhale, round and full belly breath. Exhale, from the belly breath. Very good. Now, feet a little closer together, if you can manage it. Bring your legs and the inside edges of your feet together again as you're comfortable. From here, inhale and circle your arms overhead. As you exhale, place your hands to softly bend knees. Bend your knees as your hands come down. Do your best to keep your posture long and lifted. Inhale here. And exhale here. And inhale, come back to stand. Exhale, settle into posture tall. And we'll do that again, adding on a little bit more. Inhale, arms circle high. Exhale, hands to softly bend knees. Breathe in here. As you exhale, take your elbows to your knees and relax the back of your neck. Clearly challenging balance. Take your hands back to your knees. Inhale, rise halfway up. Long, lifted spine. Exhale here, keeping the spine long. Inhale, rise. Roll your shoulders back. A few easy circles back. Very good. Now, hands to your lower back, just like this. Thumbs point forward, fingers point down. Get your hands as far back as you comfortably can. And then roll your shoulders back and encourage the elbows to squeeze in towards each other. Shoulders back, elbows towards each other. It's a little back bend. Lift your chin just a touch. Get longer in your back, 
longer on each side. Longer on your front side as well. Pull your tummy muscles in and you'll find your posture back to neutral with the hands come down. And please sit down. Take your time finding the floor, no rush. As you find the floor, cross your legs comfortably. And place a block underneath of your pelvis, a cushion, or a rolled up towel. It makes sitting here easier. Remove flesh out from underneath of your seat. Roll your shoulders back and encourage the elbows towards the ribs. Palms will be up as the backs of your hands ideally rest towards your thighs. Notice posture here. Notice sensations. Physical sensations in your body as you sit here comfortable. It doesn't have to be crossed legs. Float through posture. Notice how you breathe. Notice where your mind wanders to. simply brings your arms down the way they came up. Inhale the arms just halfway up. Exhale down. Again, all the way up with the inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms halfway. Exhale, let the arms fall. Bring your right arm up and over your head. The weight falls to the left. Use your left hand and left arm to receive that body weight. If you bend the left elbow, you come down. If you straighten the elbow, you'll be a little more up good stretch here. And gaze up towards the ceiling. Chin and nose point up. Face forward for me. Switch sides. Right arm down, left arm over. And the side stretch. Can you get lower via the right arm? your right elbow in towards you and you'll sink a little lower. Straighten the arm and you'll be higher. Find a good stretch. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Smile as you breathe. Notice what you feel and where. And inhale, prepare. As you exhale, rise. Easy up to posture. Good. Very good indeed. Fold over your legs, wherever they may be. Fold forward. Your arm strength here again receives the weight of your torso. Find your hands a little more forward if you comfortably can. Rest the elbows back towards your own thighs, or if it's accessible, rest your elbows down to the floor, but do not strain. Relax through the back of your neck.
in no rush, you use your arm strength to bring your torso upright. Switch legs. The other leg in front, or if you're not sitting cross-legged, change your legs into any other shape or position. Ideally, finding yourself sitting here anew, as if for the first time. Find your spine nice and tall. Feel through the posture. Notice elbows are in, palms up. Rest into posture tall. Relax your thighs. Relax both arms. They need not work here. Close your eyes for a brief pause. Notice your breath and where your mind wanders. not already, open your eyes slowly. Inhale arms overhead just like before. Exhale arms all the way down. Halfway up, inhaling, then down. all the way down. Halfway up, half the breath. Nice. You're playing with your breath. Breathe in, prepare. Twist. Exhale, left hand towards right leg anywhere, and your right hand behind you. Shoulders level. Use your arms to manipulate the rib cage. Twist your ribs to the right. Keep your spine long and lifted. As you're ready, turn your gaze around back. Nose and chin want to point back. Breathe in here. Exhale around to the other side. Right hand to left leg. Left hand behind you. Sit up tall. Use your arm strength, both arms. Push and pull you into the twist. Gaze around back if not already. cycle your breath nice and full easy breathing breathe in prepare release as you exhale, face forward and inhale fully. To exhale, fold over the legs again. Elbows towards your legs. Try to keep your spine long even as it bows forward. If you can comfortably, walk your hands more forward. Get yourself lower.
kindly, gently, roll up your spine, using your arms to roll up your spine. Launch postures long and lifted. Open your legs wide. A little bend in your knees might be necessary for you to remain comfortable here. Feel free to bend your knees anytime you please. Remove flesh out from underneath of your seat. Take your hands forward, elbows to thighs if you can get them there. And bow forward once more. As time goes on, you might straighten at the knees. But of course, listen to your body and never strain. Always be kind. Try to relax the back of your neck. And try to relax still more of your body. Another few breaths here. Relax more. Push down to roll up. Finding posture tall again. Now, stand your hands to the floor behind you as you stand your feet to the floor up front. Hands to the floor behind, feet stand to the floor up front. Find your seat atop your cushion, block, or towel, and lightly lift the seat and put it back down. With your hands behind you, ideally your fingertips are pointing out to the side, thumbs point forward. Knees, move them forward on top of the ankles to help you lift your seat. Can you find your cushion or block again? One more time. Lift the seat up and down. Very good. Remove your cushion out from underneath. Rest your seat to the floor in front. Get that prop off to one side or the other. And then corral your knees like I've got mine. Fingers may clasp. Walk your feet back a little bit and use the strength of your arms to lift your chest forward and through the shoulders, nice and broad across the chest here. Still corralling the knees, lean back, see if you can get your feet to leave the floor. Careful, this is counterbalance, wary of rolling backwards. Fantastic. Extend both legs forward, long against the floor. Now, without the cushion underneath, you might want to bend the knees. Hands to the floor, elbows eventually to the floor. Relax over your longer legs. This is your seated forward fold. It is a stretch. If your breathing becomes labored, come up a little bit. You can always get yourself lower next time. The final flourish here is to release the back of your neck. Let your head dangle.
arm strength and your tummy pulling in rolls you up your spine. Inhale, rise as you roll up your spine. All right, this next exercise is a little complicated. Take your hands to the floor behind you, just as before, the fingertips point off to the side. Take your right ankle above your left kneecap. Looks like this. This is right ankle below the knee. It's ankle to shin. Try to get ankle above the knee on your thigh. Once accomplished, stand your left foot to the floor. Something like so. Now, more or less, you stand that foot to the floor. If you're a lucky one, you can bring your left foot in a little bit closer. In this exercise, you'll notice that the strength of your arms pushes your heart forward and up towards your right shin. Sustain this stretch for five counts. Three more breaths. Feel each moment here. Now we're going to take weight off the hands. Bring your left knee to the left. As you do, hands release out from behind you. Right ankle is now on the inside of your left thigh. If your right knee is very high, and you feel like you want to take your hands back here, instead of right foot atop the inside of your left thigh, you can always take your right foot in front of the left knee, and that's going to be an easier time of sitting here. In fact, everyone is welcome to take that right foot in front of the knee, pull flesh out from underneath the seat, and then only if it's comfortable would you bring that right foot back up to the inner thigh. From here, wherever your right foot may be, take your left hand towards your right knee, and it's a twist again. Right hand to the floor behind you. You use your arms to lengthen the spine, and then pull yourself into a little more twist. The flourish is in the face. Turn your face, nose and chin, back. Shoulders level, posture tall. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, prepare. As you exhale, let go of your twist and bring your elbows towards your legs. Just like we did before, it's a forward fold over the crossed legs. Wherever you're comfortable, however you're comfortable, work your way closer to the floor. Careful of slouching completely, you still want your spine long. So as you surrender low, try to pull your ribs a little further away from the pelvis. Relax your neck as the final flourish. If your breathing becomes shallow, you might come up and out of the shape a little bit. Your breath is a good indicator of how you're doing. If your breath is labored, you're probably working too hard. If things are easy, breathing easy, you might try working a little harder. Now, rise by pushing down with your arms, pulling your tummy muscles in. Bring your right foot to your left foot so the soles of your feet more or less touch. 
square your pelvis forward to me and rock from side to side. Just a couple more times. Careful now. Careful you don't tip over like the weeble wobble. Find center. Good. Very good. Hands stand to the floor behind you. As they do, fingers point out to the side. Stand your feet to the ground up front. Wonderful. We will return to something like this in just a moment. Right leg long. Left foot, left ankle, over right shin to start. And you could stay right here working a stretch. But I encourage you to bring your left foot above the right knee. It's resting now to the thigh. And you can stay right here working a good stretch. But I invite you to come along with me and stand that right foot towards the floor. Try to bring it in more. And still more, and still more, and still more, if you're able. Of course, out here works just as well. Depends on you and your body's capabilities. No judgments. Well, depends on how open the hips and knees are today. Use your arm strength to lift and press the chest nice and proud. Now, so far, we've been squared forward. As we bring our right knee to the floor over here on our right side, we're going to be squaring our torso slightly rightward. Come off your hands in the back. And here, ideally, your shins are stacked. Left foot now atop the inside of the right thigh. If this is uncomfortable, or if it looks like this, or like this, you must take your foot in front of your knee so that you can have an easier time of sitting here. Everyone, please, foot in front of knee. Flesh out from underneath of your seat. Sit up tall. Notice that your torso, pelvis, and shoulders are squared slightly rightwards. Only if it's comfortable. Bring your left foot to the right inner thigh, up like so. Again, only if it's comfortable, only if the knee stays low. Right hand to left knee. Left hand to the floor behind you. Shoulders down the back, tummy in, spine long. Finish by turning the face around back. Use your arm strength to keep the spine long. Use your neck strength to turn the face more back. As you exhale, let go of the twist and fold over your legs. Whether foot be high or low does not matter. Lean forward, try to get longer in your waist as you surrender to the floor, eventually relaxing the back of your neck. A longer spine always welcome relaxing still more. Arm strength and tummy strength engage to roll you up the spine. Breathe in as you roll up and find your posture tall. For butterfly, bring your left foot, the sole of your left foot, to the sole of your right foot. Square your hips and shoulders forward. Nice butterfly here. Lean forward, 
over the butterfly legs. I like to rest elbows to the legs themselves, hands to the floor if they can, hands to yourself works too. Eventually, you might get your elbows to the floor in front of your shins. Never force your stretch. Surrender. Relax the back of your neck. Attempt to get your spine longer occasionally. Relax more, and more, and more, and more. With each exhale, attempt to relax still more. arm strength and the inhale rolls you up tone tummy and all good lean back a touch bring your knees towards each other and corral the knees lean back a touch as you pull your chest forward and through balance here in the boat pose trying to get your feet to leave the floor it's a dare you don't have to you can stay right here if you'd like a little more challenge release the arms to float forward like so nice to bring your legs together hold five four three two one and rest legs to the ground Swing your legs to the right or left and lay back for me. Comfortably against the floor now. Relax your arms. Relax both legs. Relax front and back and relax with each exhale a little more notice sensations in the body as you attempt to relax still more notice how you breathe where your mind wanders to and then tell your mind to check in on your feet can you relax then? If so, do. Tell your mind to check in on your seat. Can you relax the muscles there? And if so, please do. Check in on hands and forearms. Can you relax your hands and forearms? Take your hands under your head, behind the head. I like to use my hands as a pillow here. Nose up, ideally. Butterfly down below in the legs. Bring the soles of your feet to touch, more or less. Careful you're not holding the soles of your feet together. After you get your feet placed, Relax your legs completely and allow for the knees. 
to fall down to the floor a little more. Notice sensations in your body. Notice where your mind wanders. Notice your breath. Invite mind to relax the inner thighs a bit more. Relax all of you. More and more. feet down. Step your feet a little closer to your seat if you feel you can comfortably. Then release your hands down by the hips. In no rush, bridge pose. Begin to lift your seat. I'd like you to move your knees forward on top of the ankles and then lift your seat from there. As the ribs lift, you might tuck your chin in a little bit. That gets your neck longer. It allows for weight to come more into your shoulders, less in the shoulder blades. Slowly, lower down. Inch by inch, roll your spine down. Once your pelvis touches the floor, walk your feet wider than your pelvis, about as wide as a mat would be. And then invite your knees to kiss. With your feet wide, the knees fall in. This is knock knee. Inward rotation of the thighs. Helps to relax your lower back, the base of your pelvis, as well as your inner thighs. Relax more through your pelvis and inner thighs. In no rush. Walk your feet towards each other, and then float your feet up towards your ceiling. Careful not to work too hard here. The legs are floating up there gently. You're not working the leg extension. It's too much work. I need soft hips, soft knees, and soft ankles up there. And then your job is to pull your lowest tummy muscles in, that's well below the belly button, Pull the lowest tummy muscles in and try to lighten your tail one millimeter and then put it down. Hoof. Inhale with your tailbone down. Exhale, try to lighten your pelvis just a little bit. It's like the tailbone goes up a millimeter. Inhale down. Watch my legs closely. You might see me move, but it's only a millimeter. Up and down. Exhale up, inhale down, two more times. Exhale, lighten your tail as you suck that lower tummy, inhale down. Exhale, lighten the tail, inhale down. Good, now hug your knees. Circle your knees a few times one way, and a few times the other way. Then, open your arms to a T, and take both knees, both feet, to the left, as you take your face and turn it to the right. You turn your nose away from your knees. 
twist. Lying on your back here. Roll on to back. Hug your knees towards your chest. That's not easy. Once you've arrived, open your arms to the T, take your knees and feet to the right, turn your face away from your knees. Turn your face over your left shoulder. position on your right side. That's easy to do. In no rush, come up to seated. You're welcome to place your cushion or prop underneath of your pelvis. Place your legs someplace comfortable so that you can sit here for four or five minutes if need be. There's no need, don't worry. Flesh out from underneath of the pelvis ideally allows you to sit here more comfortably with your bones grounded. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale your arms down. Notice the sensations in your body as you move and breathe. Halfway up. Down. As you inhale this time, bring your palms to touch overhead. As you exhale, then palms touching comes to your heart. Inhale, hands up center. And as if, clean slate, hands wipe down towards the knees. Hands to prayer once more. Kindly wish the best for yourself. The best in health, happiness, peace, prosperity, and security. Kindly wish the same for everyone you care about. The best. Health, happiness, peace, prosperity, and security. Here's to wishes coming true. Thank you. Thank you again for sharing your time and attention. Very good work. I hope those wishes do come true. I'll see you soon. Aloha.